Hi, Carl. Um, I believe you're Carl from Vilcher Manor. That's correct, Which, yeah. I, I've been, you've got several vehicles and bikes, and because we have a bike here from your place. Yeah, uh, this is currently the oldest bike in our collection. This is a this, Clement? This is a 1903 Clement narrow twin uh, sports racing bike. Race bike? Yeah, they believe, believe it or not, they used to race bikes like this. This almost really is bicycle frame, isn't it? It is very with, much an adapted bicycle frame with a, with, with a clip on engine. It's, it's quite incredible. Um, really, just talk us through really about the bike, how it came to you, and, and really what it's powered by engine wise. And uh, ba basically speaking, that uh, the bike itself was salvaged out of the French scrapyard in the late 60s by my late father, Paul really? Folks Albert. Yeah. Um, and it, it lay in unrestored condition for many, 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 many years. Little bits of work were done to it over the years, but most of the restoration has been carried out over the about last five years on it. So, how many of these have survived? Probably very, very few. In the UK, I believe that the, the V-twin, this V-twin is probably the only example in the UK. Uh, I do know there are several examples uh, in France and in Europe in general. Probably five or six, maybe. I, I, I couldn't tell you the exact number. So this is the, the, the correct frame with the engine, everything on yeah, here yeah, is, is a, as it, it was? this is a Clement frame, uh, Clement engine. It's uh, a narrow, narrow V-twin, uh, rated at about three and a quarter horsepower. So looking at controls on here, we have things like advanced and retired and air levers. Can you just talk us through a little bit about, about yep. the bike? Uh, at the moment, uh, the controls on the bike, you have a, a choke lever and a throttle lever. Uh, this, this so your, your throttle's on a lever rather than a twist grip on these earlier bikes? Certainly on the er most early bikes will be a, be a lever control, yeah. Um, this lever here operates the advance and retard on the ignition. Um, all early cars and bikes would have a similar yeah, uh, mechanism yeah, as we, uh, no, for starting the engine. You have to retard the spark to, to start the engine. Uh, and we have a half compression lever here, which if you just watch that there, that just opens the exhaust valve a little bit. Just bumps off the compression. Which allows you basically to start the engine again. So this is a bump start? You can pedal start it. It will be pedal start as well. Yeah. We usually, usually we, we usually like to start the bike on a slight downhill. Because yeah. we're not as fit as the, the people used to be in the old days. Right and say it's just one gear. Yeah. It's start no up and bumps, go. Just start and go. Yeah. This so is the ignition switch here. So there's on and off. With your ignition. This is called a trembler system, I believe. Is that right? It is a trembler coil system, yeah. So you have a like a. It's not actually a battery as such, is it? Well a, lot, well, a lot of people do call it battery ignition because without a battery, it won't work. Um, so, yeah, a, trem a trembler coil basically gives you a nice stream of sparks as opposed to a magneto give you one spark each time. This gives you a nice stream of sparks. So is this like a conventional battery in here? Because these early batteries were called something different, weren't they, in the day? Yeah, the early batteries would probably be quite different to, to the yeah. ones that we use now. But we, we just use a small motorcycle 6 volt battery, basically. And brakes on this, we rely on block brakes, uh, block brakes like a bicycle? Yeah, yeah the, back. The, the brakes on it are, are pretty scary, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, it, they are bicycle type brakes, uh, rubber block uh, brakes operated by the hand, the uh, levers as you, would, as you would a bicycle. So what sort of turn of speed would we be looking at on a bike like this? As it's a race bike, it would have been considerably quite quick. Well, we haven't been brave enough yet, but we, we've done about 10 miles of testing on it so far, but we estimate this bike could probably reach 40, 45 miles per hour. This is quick. Quick 19, enough on a bike for 1903, yeah. It's quite amazing. Contact. Ignition. Ready. 